Hi, I'm Jill Mills. I'm the world's strongest woman. competition is headlined by American Jill Mills. Mills, a powerlifting champion, comes in as the favorite. The personal trainer from San Antonio, Texas, won the qualifying event held in Scotland this past summer. Mills looks for her inner strength to carry her to the inaugural World's Strongest Woman title. Well, my motivation comes from me. Um, I'm very critical of myself. I can't accept anything less than first place. 181 pounds, and Jill Mills representing the United States, rounding out our first four competitor. Ready. And Alicia, that is no ordinary Michelin tire they're flipping there. Massive amounts of weight, and as you pointed out, the key is getting low and driving hard with the legs. Absolutely, and one thing to point out, uh, I believe this is Monica Porter's worst event. She's not preparing to do well here, and Jill Mills' best event. Well, Jill Mills, one of those competitors who has had an opportunity to train with this type of apparatus and is showing right now. Jill Mills clearly a tire, tire length plus one in head of the rest of the field as she makes her way down. Now, remember, the apparatus has to cross the finish line for the clock to stop. And Jill Mills does it. 33 points. But your winner in the tire flip, Jill Mills from the United States of America. She wins, followed by Haney Koizumi, then Young, Boss. Coleman, Morneau, Waters, and Porter go 7 and 8, unable to finish the course. So after one event in the women's competition, it is Jill Mills with 8 points, Kozunami right behind her with 7, then it's Young, Charmaine Boss in 4th, Coleman in 5th, Morneau in 6th, Waters in 7th, and Monica Porter rounding out the top 8. Jill, great job. First ever World's Strongest Woman, first event, First heat, how did you feel? Um, I was nervous, but I felt like if I got this over with, it's kind of like your first squat in powerlifting. Once you get out of the way, you can kind of take a deep breath and relax if you do well, and kind of psychologically, it, it sets you for the rest of the contest. If it goes well, then you go last in the next event, which is a good place to be. So it, I feel pretty good about it. The squat competition. Jill Mills, the all-time fourth-ranked powerlifter in her weight class, figured to do well in this event. After all, Mills once completed 18 reps of 350 pounds in a powerlifting competition. That's twice her weight. Mills finished with eight reps to take the lead over Monica Porter. Final results look like this. Coleman wins with those 15 reps. She is followed by Jill Mills and Monica Porter. The rest of the group unable to lift the car. After two events, the overall standings look like this. It's American Jill Mills atop the board with 15 points. Then Coleman in second, Koi Buniemi in third. Take us through this unique test of strength. From the United States well, let's of America, see if Haney's time can stand up for the Jill final Mills. heat. It's all American. In lane one, current also overall leader is Jill Mills. Robin and in Reagan lane two, Coleman. this is Robin Coleman, fresh off a victory in a squat competition. Take your grip. Ready. Now, remember, the time to beat 25.23, put up by Finland's Koi Bunyemi. And Jill Mills having some problems in lane one, which surprises me, Alicia, but Robin Coleman doing quite well. Now, Tom McGee, Robin's coach, told me that she's got a lot of speed, and she's showing it here. The turn so critical, both ladies able to negotiate it, but I don't think they're going to be able to top Koi Bunyemi. Here comes Jill Mills, coming on strong. Jill Mills and Robin Coleman making a mad dash to the finish line. And Coleman stops the clock at 30.37. 
So the final results in the Farmer's Walk. Koivu Niemi gets the win, 25.23. She is followed by Morneau, Coleman, Mills, Young, Boss, Waters, Porter, unable to finish the course. So after three events in the women's competition, it is American Jill Mills atop the board with 20 points, a tie for second between Koivu Niemi and Coleman at 18, and a tie for fourth with Morneau and Young at 13. To be crowned the first Altoids World's Strongest Woman. Thus far, Jill Mills has lived up to her reputation as the favorite. The powerlifting champion from San Antonio has never been beaten in strong woman competition. Strength. Jill Mills, one of the greatest female powerlifters of all time. Mills is the subject of our Altoids Closer Look. This contest means everything to me. After years of watching the men on TV, to finally get a chance to compete at this level. Of all the women competing for the first World's Strongest Women title, Jill Mills boasts the most impressive resume. The 29-year-old from San Antonio, Texas, ranks among the all-time greats in her weight class in women's powerlifting and has never been beaten in a strong woman competition. How does Mills stay motivated? Well, my motivation comes from me. Um, I'm very critical of myself and my abilities, and I set certain ex expectations, and for me, it's first place and I won't be happy unless I get first place. It was Mills' husband, Milo, who first introduced her to strength training, and with a seven-year-old daughter at home, the Mills have made arrangements so that Jill can train right in her backyard. <laughs> My backyard, um, homeowners association nightmare. <laughs> it's a big tractor tire, beer kegs, platform, the cask circle, um, weights, just, it's just a regular training facility. After a narrow one-point victory in the World's Strongest Women Qualifier in Scotland last summer, Mills has taken nothing for granted in preparing for this event. The way I train is a hundred times worse than what we'll be doing. I feel like I've done everything I can for this contest as far as um, preparing, you know, any of my weaknesses. I, I don't just focus on my strengths, I really focus on my weaknesses. So the conditioning, the speed, the strength. However, in a competition as demanding as this one, Mills knows that mental toughness is even more important than physical preparation. It's the difference between the winner and the loser. I mean, you have to be able to suck it up, forget about the pain, and just keep going. To be the world's strongest woman, it would rank up there with uh, giving birth and my wedding day. I mean, it's, it's top, top three in my life, definitely. Well, Mills will go head to head with Finland's Haney Koivu Niemi in this final heat. The number to beat is nine, set by South Africa's Charmaine Boss. Now, Mills holds a two point lead over Koivu Niemi in the overall standing, so this head to head battle is certainly important, Alicia. Well, Mills is a world champion power lifter, but she's up against her fiercest competition here. This is going to be a good one. And you hear Yanni Ayrton and Scream at the finish. He is the 2000 World Strongest Man champ. They both look like they're up to a great start and got a few more left in them. Six, five. Nine to beat, put up by Charmaine Boss is the one they are shooting for. And both of these ladies going one and two overall, so as you distribute the points after this event, Mills certainly wanting to distance herself from Koivu Niemi, and Koivu Niemi certainly wanting to close the gap. Mills is at nine right now, tied with Charmaine. And ten. So Jill Mills moves into the lead. She will secure no less than second. And she looks like she still has something left in the tank, whereas in Haiti, Koivu Niemi is starting to struggle just a bit. Koivu Niemi has just tied boss, gone past her. And she's going to stop. She's thinking about keeping it, but... Conferring with her coach, that's plenty. She'll stop, ten. take 10, get second place, but it is American Jill Mills. Ten. An impressive showing with 14 reps. So the American continues to distance herself. She's down with Alicia Callaway. Jill, another great event for you. You absolutely dominated that one. How easy was it for you? Um, I felt pretty comfortable. The first couple, I had to uh, kind of fill it out, kind of hit my head in the right zone and then I felt really good coming about about five reps I started really feeling comfortable now how much of an inspiration has your husband been to you I know he helps you train absolutely just uh, he knows me well 
He knows the right things to say at the right time to motivate me. Do you hear him motivating from the sidelines while you're while you're in the middle? Yes, I don't hear anybody else. Thank you very much. Thank you. The results in the overhead log lift look like this. American Jill Mills wins. She is followed by Kovu Niemi. Then it's Boss, Coleman, Morneau, Waters, Young, and Monica Porter rounding out the eight. After four events, Jill Mills now has a three-point lead over Haney Koivu Niemi. Robin Coleman is in third with 23 points. Then it's Boss, Young, Morneau, Waters, and... Lift. But grip, hand size, and back strength will be determining factors in the... Haney Koivu the anyway, no Jill. time. That takes us to our final competitor. Yeah. Ready? This is Jill Mills of the Set. USA. Yeah. And she has the strength, and she certainly has the technique, but right now she is struggling. The time to beat, 13.39. Tough to beat, tough to beat. Well, she won't do it, but she does get a time of 15.98. So Mills does go into second place, but it's her nemesis, Koivu Niemi, who gets the victory at 13.39 and the first place points. Young finishes in third, Morneau in fourth, then Coleman, Boss, Waters, and Porter. Let's go down to Alicia, who's with our winner. Gap is closed between first and second. American Jill Mills still ahead, but Koivu Niemi now only two points behind. The American Coleman sits in third. Two women have set themselves apart from the field. Jill Mills powered her way to a win in the overhead log lift, while Haney Koivu Niemi prevailed in the vertical lift. One of these ladies will be crowned the first Altoids World's Strongest Woman. Well, Jill Mills is atop the competition right now. Let's recap what has taken place in our first five events. In our first two programs, we saw American Jill Mills utilize her powerlifting skills to dominate the tire flip and overhead log lift competitions in this inaugural event. Thus far, Jill Mills has lived up to her reputation as the favorite. The powerlifting champion from San Antonio has never been beaten in strong woman competition. A king on the circle. The winner of this event will definitely... The well, the pressure is on Jill Mills of the United Welcome. States. She Jill knows Mills. that Koivu Niemi is strong in the loading race due to her speed. And she doesn't want the competition to come down to that event. She loves to watch the Crocodile Hunter on TV. We've seen plenty of Crocs here in Take Zambia. Take your position. The story is simple. Jill Mills really needs to surpass 70.9 meters if she wants to take the pressure off going into the last event. Ready, go. Checks with the judge, Douglas Edmonds, to get the go-ahead, and she is off. This is a lady with incredible arm strength and great forearms. I'm sure she's going to do it. Drive it. She looks like the pitcher of comfort. As comfortable as you can be carrying 350 pounds of stones. Well, in this kind of heat and this kind of physical exertion, it's really important to continuously breathe and try to breathe as normally as possible. And you mentioned the heat, Alicia. We've had temperatures near 120 degrees today, just over 105. So the heat's certainly a factor in Jill Loving, that part of the course that touches the shade. Well, here she comes, that little disc on the bottom of the screen is the mark she needs to beat. And she has done it. Jill Mills has beat Haney Koivu Niemi's mark. And so Jill Mills wins the Stone Circle with a distance of 78.9 meters. And Haney, being a true sportswoman, comes over and congratulates her. Well, Jill Mills had it all going on. She brings the appropriate footwear. She has the right technique uses the correct breeding nice, on her way to a win in the Stone Circle. She's standing by with Alicia Callaway. Jill, how much preparation did you put into this event? Because this was my worst event in Scotland in the, for the qualifier, I did this event two to three times a week until I'd almost black out. I would push myself that hard knowing that when I got here, I would need that. And it paid off. Thanks, Jill. Thanks Thank a lot. You. So it is Jill Mills once again winning the event. Her distance, 78.9 meters. Haney Koivu Niemi comes in second. Then it's Morneau, Young, Pullman, Waters, 
Charmaine Boss in seventh, and Monica Porter rounding out the top eight. After six events, Jill Mills has a three-point lead over her closest competitor, Haney Koivu Niemi, and it will all come down to our final event. So it's a two-woman race. Who will be the first Altoids World's Strongest Woman? The loading race will decide when we return to Zambia. Will Mills prevail? Alicia, tell us a little bit about this event. That takes us down the to United our final States, parade in welcome. the competition. This will be Jill Mills right there on the right of your screen going head-to-head -head with I'm Haney Koivu Niemi. Haney, you heard the ladies talk about it. They're all friends off the field of competition, but I know Haney would love to walk away with a win in this discipline. Ready! On the whistle! This is going to be good to watch, folks. Koivu Niemi trails Mills by three points in the overall standings. And she certainly has the speed, but you have to give the power to Mills. We're going to see which prevails right here. Is it going to be the speed or is it going to be the strength? Right now they are dead even as they work for the second apparatus. Now they move on to the third apparatus, which is that tire. All of these weigh about 121 pounds evenly. So remember, by the time they're done, that's over 480 pounds. Coming into the end, they're neck and neck. Here we go. This is going to determine the winner right here. Oh, Haney has a problem giving it up the first time. She does get it up in 35.59, but it's not enough to take out Jill Mills. Jill Mills will reign supreme as the first ever Altoids World's Strongest Woman. Now you're watching this. Haney's speed is coming out strong, and it's beating out the strength. But you got to get that head up there and on the platform. And look at that. Jill, with all that strength, gets it up and in enough time to take the title. Well, Haney gets the win in the event, but Jill gets the title. First ever champion. Let's go down to Alicia. Jill, you are the first ever World's Strongest Woman. What does that mean to you? Oh, I've trained so hard for this contest. It, this just means everything to me. It really does. You know, I came here feeling really prepared. Praying that nothing would go wrong, uh, might stay healthy, and it all paid off. It all worked out, worked out well. I know you and your husband have put a lot of work into this. With his help, you've trained really hard for it. How rewarding is it to come away with the championship here? Uh, extremely rewarding. Um, he's he's really pushed me. We went and I mean, we invested money on equipment, you know, so I could train with similar type implements. Um, I've put put everything into this. So yeah, this is this is very. Very rewarding. Uh, it's an overwhelming feeling. I heard you're all getting tattoos. Where are you going to put yours? Well, I kind of taken up the ankle in the back, so I'll have to go with the lower back, I all guess. Right. Good spot. <laughs> Great job. Thank Congratulations, you. Jill. Thanks a lot. And the kiss that really matters from her husband, Milo. We congratulate Jill Mills, the first ever Altoids World's Strongest Woman. The final standings look like this. It is Jill Mills followed closely by Haney Koivuniemi, then Coleman, Young, Morneau, Boss, Waters, and Monica Porter. And the champion, the very first world's strongest woman from the USA, Jill Mills. And probably the most consistent competitor out there. She definitely deserves this title, but you got to give it up to the other eight ladies. They are one of the eight world's strongest women. So after seven grueling events, Jill Mills has emerged as the first champion of this groundbreaking event. She is the world's strongest woman. On behalf of Alicia Calloway, I'm Todd Harris saying so long from Zambia. This has been a presentation of ESPN.